Planet Money is an American podcast and blog produced by NPR. Using creative and entertaining dialogue and narrative, Planet Money claims to be the economy explained. Topic: History. The podcast launched on September 6, 2008 to cover the global financial crisis of 2008-2009 in the wake of the federal takeover of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. It was created by Alex Blumberg and Adam Davidson after the success of The Giant Pool of Money, an episode they reported for This American Life. As of 2018, episodes are hosted by Robert Smith, Stacey Vanek Smith, Kenny Malone, Ailsha Chang, Jacob Goldstein, Noel King, Sarah Gonzalez, Karen Duffin and Cardiff Garcia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Program The length of the podcasts ranges between 6 to 30 minutes. Planet Money uses abridged narratives to tackle popular complex topics like American health care or insider trading, to make economic journalism approachable to audiences that are interested in learning more about popular economic issues without an academic background in economics. The episodes are typically standalone. The interviewees or guests range from academic experts, business professionals or general members of the North American public. Providing listeners with primary source material, the podcast's host contributes contextual framing and commentary. The intimate stories are used as a leading thread and use commonplace language with entertaining plots to describe abstract or complex economic and political issues. This method of entertainment translates political or economic topics, that were historically dependent on academic language and higher education, to stories that engage the general public. This technique allows for larger and or younger audiences while continuing to maintain contact with original markets by drawing from popular topics within North American culture. Planet Money also provides regular reports for Morning Edition and All Things Considered and occasional episodes of This American Life. Planet Money was the first to report the small print in the Emergency Economic Stabilization Act of 2008 that allowed deviation from the original Paulson plan. Senator Max Borkus praised the show's attempts to explain the financial crisis, "...in terms the average American starts to understand." Planet Money episodes have been incorporated into undergraduate microeconomics and macroeconomics courses at some universities. Planet Money was involved in a series about the Wells Fargo account fraud scandal, which earned NPR a 2016 Peabody Award. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> External Projects. On February 28, 2018, the first episode of Planet Money Shorts was released. Planet Money Shorts is a monthly video series created by Bronson R. Curie and Ben Nadaf Hafri and published by NPR. It can be streamed from their webpage or watched on their YouTube channel. In 2017, The Indicator was launched as Planet Money's first spin-off hosted by Planet Money's Stacey Vanek Smith and the Financial Times' Cardiff Garcia with a similar storytelling approach. It delivers faster, shorter podcasts, more frequently. Each episode breaks down a big idea, using Planet Money's style of witty entertainment journalism. Each episode is approximately 10 minutes or less and is published every weekday. Planet Money has launched unique projects including buying 100 barrels of crude oil and followed it from ground to gas tank, launched a satellite and built an algorithmic trading Twitter bot. 
Inspired by the book, The Travels of a T-Shirt in the Global Economy by Pietro Rivoli, the Planet Money team made a T-Shirt and followed the shirt in a step-by-step -step journey from resource production to manufacturing, around the world. The design for the shirt was a squirrel hoisting a martini glass, which was meant to reference the economist John Maynard Keynes phrase for the human elements in economics, the «animal spirits». More than 25,000 of the shirts were sold online. The T-shirt sales were used as an effort that ultimately wound up on Kickstarter and turned out, unexpectedly, to be a runaway hit, raising more than 10x their original target of $50,000. As executive producer, Alex Blumberg worked with Pietro Rivoli as project advisor and Kainaz Amaria, Brian Boyer and Joshua Davis as managing producers. <laughs> 